Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Robin Jangin here, you are the electrical faculty and in this video I'm going to talk about the fault converter. So let's start the basic points which are related with the fault converters. In this topic we are generally going to talk about the whatever the different types of faults actually occurring in your converter stations. Okay, we are not talking about the transmission lines. We are not talking about that is actually in the power systems. We are only talking about the HVDC and the main fault causes in the converter station. So we are taking into consideration of the power stations. Uh, power station, sorry, that is the converter stations. Now, one by one, we will talk about each and every point and let's proceed. So this is the basic points which are actually the given here, the fault converter. It is saying that the, the three basic faults that can occur in the converter whatever the three basic faults which are listed here so this is the first one second and third so in the first point it is saying that the faults due to the malfunctions of the walls and the controller it is saying that due to the malfunctions of the walls and the controllers we are having the converter station and in that converter station we are using the walls that is the thyristors okay and uh, along with that we are also using the controller system which we have studied in the, your controller in control unit and if there is a fault occurring in if there is a fault occurring in those uh, equipments then there are the there are the four causes uh, look at here this is the first point which is the arc bags okay whenever in the reverse bias conditions okay so sometimes what happens this uh, arc back is found in the mercury arc walls that is actually in the reverse direction operation so arc back it is generally called the backfire arc back it is generally called the backfire in the it is generally happening in the mercury arc walls okay but in the advanced as we go for the advanced technology and when we replace with the thyristor walls so that is not actually happening and that is not occurring in the thyristor walls now the second point which is uh, included in this that is the arc through and the fire through which will we will discuss in the further lectures one by one and the misfire okay and the quenching and the current extension okay now the second point which is uh, related with the three basic faults are the commutation failure in the inverters that is the commutation failure in the inverters so inverter side there is a commutation failure then we are taking into consideration now if you talk about the point number three so this point number three is the short circuits in a converter stations if there is a short circuit conditions arises so a huge amount of current will flow through the supply lines through the equipment so that the the supply line will be get uh, disturbed or you can say will be uh, will be uh, will will get disturbed and also uh, as well as your equipments will also get disturbed there okay so you can say the supply line becomes broken and there will be a connection no connection for the healthy and unhealthy sections now so these are the actually the uh, points which are listed here now we will talk about the one by one what are the arc back and the backfire so if we talk about the arc back if we talk about the arc back is a failure of the wall when the wall gets failed then the backfire is can be seen but that is to block in the reverse directions when we talk about the that are blocking in the reverse direction operation that is uh, uh, that is taken into consideration and results in and which causes results in the temporary destructions destructions of rectifying property so rectifying property in the sense ac to dc conversion so that is, that is kind of temporary destruction that can be easily uh, retained also but for the short duration of time there is uh, there will seem that due to this backfire the temporary destructions of the rectifying property it means from ac to dc conversion is actually affected due to this backfire of the wall due to conduction due to conduction in the reverse direction which i have already told you in the above points so uh, so all in over the thing is that if we talk about the arc back or backfire is actually due to the failure of walls which walls which are uh, which are we are actually using in the converter stations in the converter station and the, the conduction is kind of that it is operating in the reverse bias that we have to remember in this point now 
Now this is uh, the next point is this is the major fault in the mercury arc wall and which is random in nature. So it is kind of the major, the majority of the faults in the mercury arc walls are kind of the backfire or, or fire back and which is random in nature. Okay, that is a randomly occurring in nature. Causes the severe stresses uh, on the transformer windings as the incident of the arc backs is common. What is saying that uh, due to this majority of the fault in the mercury arc wall and that is the backfire. So due to this backfire, there will be the stresses in the transformer windings. There will be stresses in the transformer winding or you can say the, the due to this uh, failure or you can say the due to this fault there will be a there will be a disturbance in the transformer windings and why it is actually happening it is written here that is incidence of the arc whatever the arc is coming towards the transformer arc bags is actually the common that is a common scenario if we talk about so there will be a severe stresses a high severe a high value of stresses will be the same there and the windings will be go apart from that core system so there will be a kind of a disturbance in your system also now the thyristors don't suffer from arc backs what is that the thyristors don't suffer the arc backs and which has led to the exclusion of the mercury arc walls from the modern converter stations from the modern converter stations now the sum of the clearing faults such as the commutation failure the arc through and the misfire are actually the self clearing are actually the self clearing the question may be asked or question may be asked from you that what are the different types of the failure or the fault conditions which are actually uh, the self clearing so the first is commutation failure second is arc through and the third is the misfire these are actually the self clearing faults next which are led to these faults to the transient in nature what type of faults these type of faults the commutation failure the arc through the misfire are actually the self clearing and due to this these are actually considered in the transient nature they are having the transient natures now they can cause the major disturbance unless the system okay they can cause the major disturbance they can cause the major disturbance unless the system so this is uh, all about uh, uh, related topics of uh, this and uh, i hope you have understood all the points which are listed here so tata bye bye and thank you